It is Thursday afternoon. And this is Eagles Heart Regalia. I'm Spencer Cody. The other day we began learning how to make a breastplate. You saw that um, the details that I took, how to lay out your bones, how to size the bones, and um, how to thread your sinew, how much sinew to use. Remember when you're working with the breastplate, you, you don't want to have a super long length of sinew to work with, you would take as one row. You do six rows at a time because invariably you will make a mistake. I make several mistakes on my breastplates. If you have too much, if you spend too much time, if you have too much length of sinew and you find a mistake, you're going to have to take that out and go back and repair it. It's going to cost you time, which means money. But it's taken me 12 hours to build this regalia, build this breastplate for a man. His name is Stephen Rod. Stephen Rod is an uh, Indian warrior. He is a uh, special forces operator. He's a father. He's teaching his sons uh, our traditional ways. I'm honored that he allowed me to make his breastplate for him. As I said before, when, when you're making something, when you're creating something, you, you have a really, you have a, a things that you take into account. What are the colors of the person that you're making? What do they wear in their regalia? We'll talk about colors in the next and the future segment because it's very, very important. Colors, style, everything is relevant to the dancer because each color represents something. Every color that a we, uh, the dancer wears has a spiritual or should have a spiritual meaning behind it. As I said, you cannot go to the Indians R Us at the mall and buy any of this stuff. Those of us who do this are not crafters or artisans. It's just like if you're doing beadwork or you're doing your painting. It takes time and effort and creativity to, do, creativity to build everything that we build. And so, I finished uh, my friend's breastplate. <clears throat> I chose black and brass because he's a military. And you know that uh, military uses brass in, uh, in their uniforms. So, and I made it extra long because he's a big man. I made it extra wide. And... Here is the finished result. If you notice, I use full bone and I've added horse hair on the bottom to represent times that we're out on the plains. I made the, made the, uh, the necktie of elk, elk skin. When you make an elk tie, elk skin, how you do it is that you take this, you take your, your elk skin, you cut it, and then you, you put a hole in it here. And then you come and you run your your skin through, pull it tight. That's the way the old ones used to wear there. <sighs> and now I finished up, I made him a matching choker. There's one imperfection in my breastplate on purpose. And beat workers another regalio builders will usually have one mistake in there and that's for a reason. It's because no one is perfect except for God. Now, I'm going to bless this before I send it to my friend. Now, what do you say is important in life? Now, I am a student I'm a learner. 
I pray every morning without fail with my wife, every morning, 6 o'clock to 6.45. This is our prayer, my beginning prayer in the morning. I hold all key. They don't tie dog key. She just died, yeah, dog key, dog. On day, on day. It is a good day. It's good to be here. Thank you. A whole dog, I eat Jesus, son of the living God. Thank you for saving my life when I was lost. I was hopeless. I was frightened. I was dead. Thank you for rescuing me. A hope for another day of life. I wake up this morning. I open my eyes and I can hear my wife breathing. I kiss her on, my, on her cheek. I wake her up and tell her I love you. It's a good morning. Then I thank you, Daki, for my sons and my daughters, my grandchildren. For the life that you've given us the life you've given my grandchildren. I pray, Dal Key, that my sons and my daughters would have long lives. They would have good health. I pray for my grandchildren. They would follow after you, Dal Key, Jesus, all the days of their life, that they might have peace and rest within their souls, within their spirits. Dal Key, thank you for your kindness and your great, gracious care for us, for your love for us, for we know that every person in this world you know intimately. You know us, every single hair that we have on our head. You know our thoughts before we even begin to think them. And yet, through all of our failures, all of our times that we've fallen down and we've given up, you have never given up on us. You encourage us to stand. A good man will fall many times, but God, dark he, will reach down his hand and lift us back up and put us back on our feet to walk our path. I hope, dark he, for your kindness, for your faithfulness, faithfulness to us every day. Thank you for another breath of life. We do not take that for granted, knowing that there are many in this world who have died, who have suffocated, not being able to breathe, who have died pain, painful, excruciating deaths. Yet those of us here, we were able to take a deep breath in. And for that, I give you thanks. Okay, thank you for water. Tone, thank you for water. What you've given us every day, we can have water to drink, water to refresh our souls, refresh our bodies. It makes us feel good. Thank you for giving us water. Thank you for giving us a gentle breeze, dark heat. Now, in the springtime, I can stand outside. I can feel the wind blowing over my face, through my hair. I can smell the honeysuckle. I can smell the flowers. I can smell the trees. A whole dark key for your creation, for the two-legged ones, human beings, for the four-legged, for the winged creatures. I hear the song of the birds every morning as I go out to meditate. The beauty of your sym symphony, your voices all in unison, singing praises to you, dark key. Sing the song that you gave them. Each and every one of them has their own different song. And it pleases you to hear them. A whole dog key for life. Now, as I said before, I'm going to bless this for my friend. Kiowas. We believe cedar is the favorite tree of God. Because it is green all year round it stays green it's always alive it doesn't die and shed its leaves therefore we think that it's favorite from god of god 
the Almighty. Now, when we pray and we bless somebody, we speak good things on their lives. We pray good things for them to happen. As I said before, our words matter. Jesus said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. When we say words like, God damn, we say words like, F you. We say words like, a ho When you call your brothers or your friends and others' name, is that how you want to be treated? Is that how you want people to speak to you? You don't. It hurts your dignity. It hurts your self-respect. It makes you angry. If so, why do we do it to others? I say this as a man who has taken 59 years to come to the point to where I'm at. I am not perfect. These things I've learned all the way along. I've been a loudmouth. I've spoken way, way too many things. But I've learned in recent years to measure my words. Not speak death. Not speak despair. But to speak good things to people. To lift up their respect. To honor their dignity. That's what I've learned. And I hope you can listen to this and learn from this. One day we will all stand before a dark key. And he will remember every single word we ever said. Every thought we ever had. When you stand before a dark key. And you say. And he plays the words back for you to hear. And he hears you say. God damn you. See, you curse your own self because he will treat you as you treat others. So in essence, when you curse somebody else, you curse yourself. Words matter. They are never forgotten. They are written down in his mind. And one day we will all give an account for everything that we say. These things that I've learned from my elders, and I hope you can learn that from me. The cedar tree. We use it to bless. And we also use sage and sweet grass. But Kiowas, this is how we use it. It's a blessing ceremony. We call it a cedaring ceremony. Once again, in Oklahoma, we don't use the word smudge. To me, that sounds like a small fudge. But it's a searing ceremony. Sometimes I see posts on Facebook or other media about smudging. And it has these wonderful words like, this will drive your unclean thoughts away. This will do so-and-so. This will impart peace to you. But it's just like sometimes you go, you go to a Chinese restaurant and you get a fortune cookie. Now, there's not some old man in Tibet writing down these wise sayings or lotto numbers for you. They're generated by some computer. So when I see these posts on Facebook about Indian beliefs and Indian religion, and I realize that these are not made by Indian people, it makes me laugh and it makes me sad sometimes. We bless somebody. The cedar, when you burn cedar, it's the Smoke that goes up represents prayers. The cedar itself, there's nothing inherent about it that's holy or righteous. The blessing comes from the prayer. When you pray when you're doing this. Without spoken blessing, it's merely incense. So I'm going to pray for my friend. And I ask you to join me that in that. <clears throat> oh, Dalki. Oh, my God. Thank you for hearing this day.
Donkey, Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. I made this breastplate for this man, this warrior, Stephen Rod, for his honor, who fights for our country, who's willing to give up his life in defense of our nation, as a true warrior should be willing to do every day. I bless this breastplate and this choker for him. In my blessing, I say, may the wearer of this breastplate be protected from bullets, be protected from harm in warfare. May his eyes be ever sharp to see the enemy before the enemy sees him. May his ears hear the footsteps of the enemy. And he can know the enemy is near him and he can defend himself. May he feel in his heart, in his hands, his weapons. Take good care of them so that they might take good care of him in battle. Donkey, protect my friend in battle. Donkey, bless him as a father who teaches his young son the ways of our people. Give him strength. Give him bravery. Give him respect for which he has earned that. Donkey, bless his family. Give them long life. Give them good health. Give them much food to eat every day. Good water to drink every day. Donkey, you're good to us. Our hearts are overwhelmed with how good you are to us every day. Thank you for hearing me. Because I know that you hear me when I pray what you want me to pray. I hope for hearing me. Bless my friend. And bless my friends who are watching this live. Thank you guys for watching. Now, we are beginning to post these things on our YouTube channel, Eagles Heart Regalia. I sure appreciate if you would follow us there because I'm going to be teaching not only these lessons, but the next several lessons are going to be on feather work. How to make a uh, roach, a roach feather, like the old warriors wore on their heads, the sides of their, their faces. And then we're going to be learning how to make leggings, deer skin leggings, elk skin leggings. Then I'm going to be making a, a plains warrior shirt slash mountain man shirt for a friend of mine Martin Morris who sent me several beautiful elk skins and I'm going to be making him a shirt and I'll be doing that and instructing you on how to do that now when I get these post these videos I get many many friend requests and when I go through my friend requests people who are wanting to be my friends one thing I first look at is I say are they following me because I have many people every day who want to be my friend and I have 5,000 friends. And so what I have to do is I go back in my, on my friends list and I go back and see if the person's not following me on Facebook, then I unfriend them so I can make, make room for people who do follow me. So if you send me your friend request, be, be mindful of that. I hope you enjoy what I'm, I'm doing. I enjoy doing it. Now, these things that I make, the breastplates I make, my friend, he bought it for $350. I have people who buy these who are uh, dancers, yet I have uh, half of the people who buy these are art collectors. And they put them in display cases or on their walls. So if you're interested in anything that I make, uh, I make them personally. 
Sometimes my grandson helps me make them. Everything I make is, uh, is done to the best of my ability and with honor and integrity. So, I hope for taking the time to listen to me. I hope I've helped you in some way.